guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick review on one product that I recently have been playing with. You can tell by my ensemble, yes, I was wearing this already in my past video. I just finished filming my Best of L'Oreal makeup, so if you guys haven't seen it, definitely check that out. It's the video before this one, and I just figured my makeup's already on. Why not just sit down and film something else? I decided to review this Laura Geller Filter Finish Baked Radiant Setting Powder. So it's basically a baked setting powder that is in a universal universal shade. So it'll pretty much suit any skin tone. It doesn't matter. It's going to set your makeup and it's going to give you this nice radiant luminosity that is subtle, sheer, but definitely noticeable. Give you a healthy kind of glow to your skin. So you can wear this without makeup. You can wear this over makeup. And I have found that I enjoy using it as a straight up highlight. It's a great highlighting powder. It's beautiful. It actually comes with four different shades throughout the product that are baked together. You can obviously swirl them all together and create a nice, even luminous glow all over your face. You can highlight with all of the colors, or you can take a smaller powder brush and use these four separate colors for the four separate things that they do. So the lavender shade will brighten any dullness in your complexion, kind of wake it up a little bit. The peach shade will correct any kind of blue tones. The yellow will camouflage any dark under eye circles, and then the green will reduce and neutralize any redness. Swirled together, they make for a gorgeous highlight or setting powder that is adding just a little bit more radiance to your skin. And in the swatches, you guys will see how these colors look blended together on my hand, along with the four separate color swatch below them. So you gotta get an idea of what they look like. I think this is a beautiful product, just the way these powders are baked and designed together. They look like a piece of artwork. It's so gorgeous. All of the Laura Geller products that are baked are done in Italy. She's from Italy. She's the cutest little Italian woman. I love her products. I think they're amazing. And one of the best parts of Laura Geller is that their products last forever. There are many products that you buy from the drugstore or even high end where you're seeing the case that the product comes in and you're thinking, wow, I'm getting so much product. When in actuality, what you just purchased is 90% casing and 10% product. With Laura Geller, you get the product you see all the way to the bottom of the packaging so when you think you hit pan wait again keep going because you've still got a lot more product this will last you forever even if you use it every day i think it's such a beautiful product and i think it's my favorite laura geller product at the moment so i thought why not sit down and just kind of review it with you guys and give you a more in-depth look at what these look swatched and what each color actually represents and does swirl of all of these colors is going to blur any flaws, any imperfections in your skin, just make it look smooth and radiant and just naturally healthy and glowy. All of these colors will balance your skin tone and of course they're going to illuminate your skin with a very nice natural and beautiful glow. And you can even target any of those specific areas with a smaller powder brush just pinpointing the color you need to counteract whatever it is you want to kind of combat. So I think this is a genius product and even though it's marketed as a finishing powder, that gives you some radiance, try it as a highlight. It is amazing because it gives you this nice glow. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it gives me like this nice natural glow, but it's not super intense. It's like this really pretty natural glow that's there. You see it, it pops. It's like, whoa, but it's not like, whoa, what she got on her face, if you know what I mean. It gives you this nice natural like glow from within that's obvious, you can see it, it's really pretty, but it's not super duper intense. So I think this would make her a great wedding highlight or just a setting powder on your wedding day. And I think this would look beautiful in the summer if you're going to the beach and you don't wanna wear makeup. If you were to put this on your face, a little bit of gloss and some waterproof mascara, you would look glowy and healthy and you would feel confident and pretty, at least I know I would. I highly recommend this as a summer staple. I think it's beautiful, I'm glad they came out with this. And the most adorable part is is that you can hashtag filter finish if you share pictures using this on Instagram and they will see it. So that is it for this quick little review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if you were already contemplating buying this product or if you had already seen it or were wondering more about it, what it did, and if people were liking it. I highly recommend it. I like it a lot. I think it's worth the price. It's I think it's worth the price because it doubles as a setting powder as well as a highlight. As far as I'm concerned, I would use it either way. It's such a gorgeous finish. It's a creamy blend, easy to work with. It's not overpowering, so you can definitely pack it on and it won't look like you're glowing from the moon. It'll look very natural and really pretty. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review. Don't forget to subscribe down there and I will definitely see you the next time I upload. Bye guys. <laughs> stuff is amazing, amazing, amazing. This stuff is amazing. So today I have the Filter Finished Baked Radiant Setting Powder from Laura Mercier. <laughs> Let's try
try that again. So today I have the Filter Finished Baked Radiant Setting Powder from Laura Geller. Open up with my teeth. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video... Quiet! Ugh, these freaking trucks. 